<laughs> I'm laughing because we're about to do something that Joel doesn't want to do. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> this is the best day of my life. When I was young, I thought I would grow up and marry a man that I could dress. Marry a man that I could... <laughs> <laughs> that I could turn into aesthetically whatever I wanted. Because my mom cuts my dad's hair. She cuts it how he wants it, how she wants it. She dresses him, he doesn't care. He puts on what she wears. And that was so exciting to me. I was like, I'm gonna pick out his suits. I'm gonna pick out his Christmas sweaters. I'm gonna do all those things. Little did I know my dreams were gonna be crushed. <laughs> crushed. Those were your dreams. Life <laughs> ruined. Over. Okay, just kidding. Everything else is so much more wonderful. I don't care. Also, he's very particular about how I fix his hair, which is fine. Like, I guess he's entitled to his own opinion, but... <laughs> Am I? Turn the camera off. Um, anyway, it's grooming day for Joel because beard is a little straggly, and if you look up close... Okay, let's just take a look at the grays. See, oh my goodness. I can't believe how much I have on that one side. And Joel has has expressed to me, he's like, I don't like that this is so bald here. And I was like, well, I can help you in that department. And then also, I mean, we've just got a lot that we're gonna do today, okay? Let's just do it. Let's just get into it, okay? Let's just do the dang thing. Let's do the dang thing. Okay, so nice strong shoulders, but, but you not... behave better when the camera's on. <laughs> <laughs> I got it! That Did was you? a genuine smile. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You look so handsome. That's a whole lot of teeth. <laughs> I've seen Clydesdales with less. <laughs> you look so cute. It is a lot though, so less than my gun. Okay, stack, shoulders back, but not stiff. <laughs> okay, close your eyes. And then just look at me and <laughs> Are you no, are you looking at no actually look at me, look at the lens. Okay. The lens, okay. One, two, three. <laughs> Smile. <laughs> Joel. That's a nice, that's a wrinkly <laughs> smile. Wrinkly, dimply <laughs> smile. That's what you get, yeah. Good. Got it. Okay, we're doing a lot today, so I definitely wanted to get a before and after photo. Before we do the beard situation and the hair situation, we're gonna do the teeth situation. Okay, if any of you guys have been watching me for the last how many years? Six years. White with Style has been sponsoring our posts for years now. So typically we promote the Sparkle White Kit, which includes all of this right here, and you can get it for $29.99. It retails for $269.99. But today I wanna to show you their newer um, kit. This is their Stellar White Advanced Kit. It comes with the bleach and it comes with trays that you don't have to mold yourself. That kind of makes it just a little easier. So this kit is just a little more expensive than the Sparkling White Kit. Look, it even comes with a charger. So this one doesn't have a battery, it just has a little cute magnetic charger. It comes with a little brush like this and you just paint it straight onto the teeth. So which I like that because it's easier to avoid your gums. I have sensitive gums. Surprise, surprise. Why am I putting this on your front teeth? They're fake. Okay, um, you can't bleach veneers, but I am going to do the side teeth, and those are the ones that need it the most. They are. Yep, the bottom, big time, huh, Joel? Mm -hmm. um, this kit is $69.99 versus the other one. They're both really good kits. I love both of them. If you're looking for the cheaper option, go with the Sparkle White, but if you're looking for a more convenient one and you don't mind paying a little bit more, then you would want this kit right here. I think it's easier to have someone do it for you, actually. <laughs> okay, open wide, because it's the side teeth. So once you paint this on the teeth, then you just pop this. It's almost like a light and a tray. You have to help me out, Joel. <laughs> okay, so that's that. Oh, turn the light. Oh, it is on. Your teeth are just covering it. Okay, so the light is on. Okay. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Okay, so he's okay. See, he's fine. He's fine. He loves it. I will have the information for both whitening kits along with my discount code for you to use. The code is Bonnie. I'll have all of that in the description for you guys below. Thank you, White With Style, for always sponsoring our videos. We love you guys to the moon and back. Okay, little does Joel know. He doesn't know this yet. Okay, so <laughs> I saw these 
on TikTok. <laughs> they are eye drops to make your eyes whiter. Yeah, Joel saw me use them and they actually work super well. So while you're marinating, I'm going to just close your eyes. I'll just go ahead and do this. Just relax and I'll just pour it in. They don't burn, right? Mm -hmm. I was shocked that these actually worked so well because our eyes get really red. Just relax. Close your eyes, relax. You're fine. Okay. Okay, just keep them closed. Mm. <laughs> they actually make your eyes appear so much whiter. It's incredible. So we're whitening his teeth, we're whitening his eyes. Now it's beard time. Typically, I tint my eyebrows with this beard dye, and so that's how I know about it because I've always dyed my eyebrows with it. And so when Joel was complaining about his gray beard, I was like, I know the thing for you. So it comes with a color and a developer. You do equal parts. So we're just gonna do a squeeze of that. No, I'm gonna need more than that. Okay, we're gonna do, um, you know what, I'm just gonna do the tubes, it's fine. So it's equal parts, do one tube and one tube. You don't have to use the whole thing, you could do a half, you could do just a dollop, it kinda just depends on what you're doing. But honestly, this stuff works well to cover gray, but it does go darker over time. So, I would suggest going with a lighter color, and so like Joel, I did light medium brown, cause look at your, show them in the mirror. You're like a light medium brown, like your whole hair, like your whole hair. Oh yeah, oh. Like, I, just in general, yeah. it's like a light medium brown, mm -hmm. yeah? Yeah. Okay, medium and gray. it darkens, like the longer it sits, the darker it goes, which is the sign of cheap. <laughs> color. Because it is, I mean, I wouldn't put this on my hair, but I would put it on beards and eyebrows. So we're gonna mix this. And I saw, I hope that I can make it look as crisp on your face as I've seen it done on like TikTok and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> we're trying TikTok trends on my face? Uh, basically. Okay, I'm making Joel take his shirt off because I don't want him to get color on his shirt when he goes to take it off. We're creating an illusion here. The illusion that his beard is full. So turn your body this way for me. Okay. So I want to create a line on his beard as if, oh, this is such a full beard. So see how it's, hold on. We want to create the illusion that this is more full and that this is more full. So I'm going to start right here on his beard. Um, is it cold? Um, it tickles a little bit, so I'm concentrating Sorry. on not giggling. Okay, so we want those to be the darkest, so I'm gonna start right here because he has zero hair right there. So we're going to go there. Will it darken the skin at all? Yes, it does. It darkens the skin. Oh dear heavens. Well, no, it's good, it's good. Yeah, it is. So I'm gonna do this side as well. Come just a little bit this way. No, I said a little. If I'm not in our videos for the next few weeks. It's fine, it won't last that long. Because I'm attending clown school. <laughs> and the important part is, like Joel just said, yes, it dyes your skin. And so you wanna take the Q-tip and wipe off really crisply where you don't want the dye. So we don't want it there. And we don't need a blob right here. Okay, this is scary, huh? <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. I'm gonna make sure that it is not on the skin that I don't want. And then I'm going to like kind of create a line as if hair grew here. So I'm gonna start right here because that's where I would want the beard to be. Straight line right here. And then a straight line from here over to here. Am I gonna look like I'm no. a real leprechaun? No, you're gonna look so good. Okay, I'm gonna fill this in. Come back here, fill it in right here. And I'm not gonna go underneath because I don't think it needs that down there, right? It's pretty dark under there. Yeah. This is going to look so good. I cannot wait. You're gonna have whiter teeth, whiter eyes, darker facial hair. Dang. Oh dear. I know. Okay, so, <laughs> see? <laughs> okay, hold on. We're gonna wipe this off just a little, like, so that now that I can see where it is, I'm going to blend that right here. Joel Helene, I know what I'm doing. Turn to the side so they can learn. Okay. 
staunch line. <laughs> Schneike! Okay. Oh dear. <laughs> okay, just relax. Uh, what do I do? Let me get paper towel. Hold on. I look like I have a Halloween beard <laughs> drawn on. Okay, so we're just going to rub off just a little bit up here by so that it looks, you know, not like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Hold on, it's fine. You're fine, we're all fine. I don't know what I'm doing. I thought I did. <laughs> Turn to the other side, we're just gonna feather this in. I bet it's gonna look so good. I'm scared for both of us. <laughs> and they're not even, look at the front. <laughs> they're not even. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> and the longer we sit, the darker it gets, right? Yes, so just look at me. You look like a burly, like, man with a burr. <laughs> now, because we're getting scared, let's wash it out. Let's just wash it out and see. Should I just jump in the shower? Yeah, why don't you hop in the shower and rinse that off? Okay, well. Do my surprised eyes look brighter? <laughs> Actually, let me take a look at your eyes. Yes, it worked. Let's see your teeth. Yes, it did! Okay, that looks so much better, and if we were to do it one more time, it would even be that much better. Mm -hmm. They look a lot better. Oh, yeah. Okay, so beard, turn to the side. So I'm thinking we just left it on a little too long because this looks wonderful. That's gotta be hard though, because how do you do that if you're starting from here? In a way portion, around? time it better. Mm. So we'll know for next time. Mm -hmm. Okay, this looks a little wild. Okay, well, we're learning. A um, let's trim your beard. Okay. I got this for Joel for Christmas, and it was definitely one of the better purchases, right? Well, because it has so many small guards, like different guards for different depths of your beard, and it really does work good. It works forwards and backwards, so you can like change how it sits on there. If you like to pull more, if you like to push mm -hmm. more, I like that. There's a lot of different blades for different depths. This one like is like a bear trim and it's pretty darn close. Like, really? Yeah, if you were to do that, it's almost like a straight razor shave. Really? Uh-huh. Cool. But this is the one I use as a five. While Joel finishes doing this, I took a little more hair color and I feathered it right here so there wasn't, hopefully there won't be such a stark line right there. I know what I'll do different next time, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, Joel might be a slight bit mad. He's, he's not the most happy. He's not like furious though. No. <laughs> I know what we can do better next time. So, I think he's a little mad. I'm a little disappointed in myself if I'm being honest. I have always straight razored Joel's neck. You can use a regular razor, but I just feel like this gets it so much more smooth. And in the years that I have done this, Joel, mm -hmm. have I ever cut you? Mm -hmm. I've never once cut Joel. Knock on wood, today would be, I like to get the side of his neck. Mm -hmm. Sometimes he forgets to get that with a razor. I always do this in between haircuts because the neckline gets straggly before the rest of the hair actually needs done. The key to styling your hair, you guys may not trust anything that I say from here on out because, you know, I don't think it looks bad. Turn to the side. I don't think it looks bad. In fact, I think it looks amazing. In in like on the video and in a picture it would be okay but in public somebody's gonna be standing next to me like do you have painted skin <laughs> so this is what I'm gonna tell you that I would do different I was envisioning taking like basically giving the illusion of a higher beard line that's not gonna work because that doesn't look good I will follow his shorter beard line down here and then on the sides I'll take it off way sooner way sooner <laughs> and maybe just use like hair strokes instead of like a solid line okay 
um, the key to styling your hair is to use a blow dryer. This is my all time favorite blow dryer. I will put it in the description for you. It's worth every penny. This guy bought it for me. Yeah, it was. Okay, so I'm gonna blow dry the hair in the direction that the hair goes. So do you see how fluffy? I think my hair looks like it's done already almost. Yeah, do you see how fluffy that looks with his hair done? So you have way less work to do with product. So um, this is the kind of gel I use. It's like a pomade. This is what the stylist used on Joel and the kid's hair and I've been buying it off Amazon ever since. I'll put it in the description for you guys. See, look, I barely even have to style it and it just fixes the way I want it to fix when you blow dry it. So if they have like a good haircut, it'll just go where it's supposed to. Mm -hmm. If you blow dry it that way. Like, come on, this looks good. Dang, that looks good. I'm like, your beard. <laughs> it's fine, your beard looks fine. You look so handsome. Ooh, that's good looking haircut. Mm. Took rubbing alcohol and rubbed on the sides and it looks a lot better. Jota looks a lot better. So, you need to get your after picture. So we'll do one again. Oh, you look so handsome. Okay, so chin down, not, yep, perfect. Oh, you look so handsome. Okay. You look okay? Yeah, it looks really good. Don't be mad at me. I'm not mad, I promise. Got like a long old hair. We're oh. the handsomest man walking into the hardware store today. <laughs> Okay, now that I got Joel all the way like up and ready, I kind of want you to like give an update on your hair. It's been one year. Which I did not realize it had been one year. I got a phone call the other day from the office and they're like, you are one year post-op this month. And I was like, oh my gosh, I cannot believe it. But looking back, like, I can't believe that I went from being so scared to shave my head to begin with, but then having the surgery and then letting it regrow and to being where I'm at now with this kind of a haircut. I thought I would never be able to have this kind of a haircut because you have to have some hair up here. Well, it, we used to be able to see all the way through Joel's hair. Oh. So if you guys didn't know, Joel had hair transplant surgery one year ago this month. And so they did the hairline and then they came up to, you can kind of see where they ended. It was just in this area right here. Mm -hmm. um, they took donor hair from back here and they transplant planted it right here. If you guys want to watch the process, we have an entire playlist. We recorded the entire surgery. We'll have that linked in the description for you guys. Would you do it again? Like if you had to do it again, would you? Absolutely, it was worth every every minute of it because honestly, I, I was really scared and the biggest fear I had was shaving my head because I had had friends that had shaved their head and it never grew back. And I was really scared of that and that was a big phobia I had to get over. But once I shaved my head, once they did the surgery, I'm so happy with it. I'm so confident in my hair and I never ever have been before. One thing that they did say is that, cause like in my pictures, if I don't have my hair done, this hair is a little bit wiry because it's a different coarseness here. And that here. scared me. I was like, Joel, your hair is so coarse. I was worried that it would always stay coarse because you could, it was, it was <laughs> bouffanty and really coarse. And what did he say about it? And Dr. Ahal said, he's like, that hair will actually start kind of training and, and becoming more like the hair up here. I don't know how, but but I can already tell that I was gonna it say, is. I can already feel it. it's different now and it's starting to lay the way it is, but I wouldn't trade it for the world. You go through these like weird periods where it's like, oh my gosh, what did I do? But you just have to trust the process. Oh, absolutely. I trust it and I trust him and he he is the only one I would trust with it. And I recommend him to anybody who's wanting to get it. It is an investment, but I think it's an investment really in your future. I feel so confident. We were not paid to promote this doctor. We just really love him and we seeked him out. Okay, love you guys, bye. Bye.